What's going on? Josh from Colossus Fitness, personal trainer and expert online coach. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the incline dumbbell press quick and easy without wasting any of your time. So I like to learn by starting with mistakes and common errors so you can learn what not to do. Then we'll get right into a total overview of what to do. So first common mistake is all about positioning of the bench. This is an incline press. I see a lot of people doing this way too flat and that's not going to get your main goal of working that upper chest. You need that angling to work that upper chest to get that proper squeeze up there at the top. The other error within this error is having it as an incline as you can see that I do now. And frankly, I'm just doing a huge massive pin lifting my butt off and you can see my torso is completely flat negating the benefit of this exercise. So avoid that. I find the proper bench position is just maybe about 35, 40 degrees. You can play with it based on the intensity you want. The higher the bench incline, the more it's gonna bring in the shoulder as well. So beware of that if you have a weak shoulder. Mistake number two is stopping short of the lockout. Uh, you're just cheating yourself out of gains. So to get the most out of this exercise, you want to squeeze right at the top and squeeze that upper chest. More shoulder will be involved, so it'll be a little awkward to fully extend. Now what you don't want to do is just push your arms all the way up. You can see I can do this while minimally engaging my chest. Rather think of squeezing the chest. I find a good cue is to squeeze the elbows together as you press. You can see how I can really, with my mind, focus on squeezing each rep, packing the blood into the chest to maximally work that muscle. We're aiming to work the upper chest here, so you got to squeeze all the way up, push together so we can get that split in the chest. Number three comes from Mr. Current Olympia, Phil Heath, and his big tip is about positioning of the head. So obviously if you play sports, you know where the head goes, the body follows, typically, and the same case is here. So if I have my chest low, I'm transferring the tension to my lower chest, and I'm gonna to wanna to push my arms forward to engage more of that lower chest. So if you do wanna work the lower chest, you know, on that decline bench, that's a hack you can use. However, the incline, we wanna make sure we have our head back in a neutral position so we can focus on squeezing that upper chest. You can see how this is more natural for me. Whereas when my head's down, I can't really do it. It doesn't work. My trap inhibit my shoulders from actually extending fully and squeezing that upper chest. Quick little fix, but it'll make a world of difference. All right, so here's the A to Z of how to perform this exercise. So first and foremost, it's about how you kick it back. So with normal dumbbell, you're gonna kick it back like this. Here, it doesn't work too well. So with incline, what I like to do is you're gonna kick that knee up to your chest as you lean back with one arm, shift to the other, kick hard. Now we're in position. Now from here, you don't wanna necessarily do a huge pin, but you want a little bit of a pin. We never wanna droop, because if I'm drooped, can't lock out properly. So we want that strong position. My feet are nice and wide. I'm balanced, I'm squeezing my abs nice and tight. Now starting point will change based on the person. So if you have great shoulder and chest mobility, you can start really low like this, and we can do a full range of motion and touch each time. Uh, for most people, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this unless you have good flexibility, uh, because it can put a little too much strain on the shoulder and chest. So instead, start from about an inch above. Elbows are a little tucked in. I'm gonna push up, squeeze that chest, squeeze those shoulders tight, come down with control. Squeeze the chest and the shoulders. Now it's all about this little angle. Now from here, we're pushing to about straight, squeezing everything tight, focusing on our breathing, keeping our body tight to the bench. And then if you do this correctly, we'll avoid those common mistakes I just showed you, you're set. In variation number one, we have the single arm dumbbell press. You've gotta try it out. It's actually a very simple exercise. You're just gonna have both arms extended. You're gonna bring one arm down and then alternate. And this is absolutely fantastic, especially if you have an imbalance. You can work on each individual pec at a time. Try it out. Next up, we've got kind of a funky name. We've got the squeeze and spread press. Now, this has been introduced by Josh recently and I've been loving it into my routine. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna go all the way up, Squeeze, bring your arms nice and tight into a neutral grip, go all the way down, out to the side, and then press as you can see on the screen here. So try this one out. Variation number three, nice and simple, is gonna be the fly press. The beauty of this, when you do a nice wide fly, is you're really getting that insertion point of the chest right close to the shoulder here, so you're gonna engage that. Now with this, you can go a little heavier, not too heavy, not as heavy as you would for a press, kind of scrape the side, do a little miniature fly, so normally a fly, you wanna be nice and open, but here you're just gonna do a little one, open neutral grip, nice and wide, open up that chest, and then press and squeeze on the way up. This one's fantastic, it's very similar to the squeeze and spread press, except the squeeze and spread press, you're actually squeezing on that negative. So just a little bit of a variant, but I really recommend it, it will help build a massive chest. Now if you had fun hanging out today, we appreciate it, we got tons more great content for you to check out, you'll probably see in the right and the recommended, or check out our full form playlist down below. We have all over 40, almost 50 exercises that we've gone through in detail just like this. So go ahead, master these out, uh, you can just know you got Colossus, your personal trainers now. See you in the next video, peace. Like the cool blue light